Rares, what's up? It's your girl Chris, and welcome to Beauty MC Squared. So in this video, I'm going to show you this look. This is my fancy look. As you can see, I have my purple um, ombre bubblegum pink hair. I'm feeling like somebody's drag queen mermaid, and I am loving it. This hair that I got is from Diamond Virgin Hair. I have reviewed for them tons and tons of times before. Well, about three or four times, okay? That's not tons of times. Um, but this is part, um, this hair has been custom colored by myself. So I may have a video um, showing you guys how I custom colored it. But this hair came blonde, like really, really blonde, almost white blonde. And it's a part of Diamond Virgin's hair, Diamond Virgin Hair, um, their Euro collection. So they have um, European hair that is already blonde and it's really geared towards you girls who want to try some fun colors or just bold colors, even if it's the traditional reds or the browns, just something a little bit more vibrant. So um, that's what I have in my hair. We're talking about my face, so Lime Crime is on the lips. Countess of Fluorescent. I know you guys are going to be asking, even though I have the product listing down below as well as on my blog. Uh, and it's not that much to say about this look. If you guys are interested for this tutorial, you're just going to have to keep on watching the video. You know what I'm saying? So let's get it going. Okay, so the first thing that I used was Dip Down by MAC and applied it all over my lid space and I traveled it uh, quite far into the crease area because we're doing this sort of dramatic smoky eye, very sexy, and it's going to make my eyes look that much more wider and big and beautiful and bold. And right over it, I applied this shimmery brown pigment. It is so gorgeous of a color. I, I'm not sure where I got it. I'm sure I got it eons ago and I just kind of transferred it into another container so I don't even know who makes it which is crazy I want some more. Um, I just simply applied it all over the cream eyeshadow base or the cream base and then I blended it out into the crease area using a tapered blending brush. Now here for the brow bone highlight I used uh, the cream colored and the bronzer from NYC and then I just simply blended that out as well um, just to make sure that that is nice and smoky looking. Now to define my eyes and make it even more, I guess, severe and big and smoky, I applied a black eyeshadow and kind of carved out a, you know, just a bigger crease area just to make my eyes look wide and just blended that into the brown eyeshadow. Now right under the eyes, I'm going to apply my concealer to brighten up the under, under eye area, brighten up those dark circles and to also let those intense dark colors pop out even more so. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now once that is done, I went ahead and completed my full face foundation. And now I'm going to tight line my upper and lower waterline using a cream black eyeliner. And I'm also going to define my, um, my wing, my upper lash line, and just kind of make it a little bit more slanted, real sexy, real cat eye look. You know how I usually do it, you guys, okay? Right under the eye, I applied a blue eyeliner and then I'm just going to go right over it with an icy blue shimmery eyeshadow. And it's so gorgeous and that's going to give you a great contrast between the dark sort of neutral colors and uh, just give you a bright cool color and make the eyes look very poppy and animated a little bit. Now you definitely want to bring out your lashes and make them as voluminous as possible. So go ahead and coat your lashes with one or two coats. I'm going to say two to three coats of mascara and apply the falsies. And for the rest of my face, I went ahead and mixed two of my favorite bronzers together. And I'm sort of doing a soft sculpted um, contour look. So I'm not going to really use a cheek color per se, not like a pink or a rose or anything like that. I'm just going to keep it more bronzy and, you know, the brown color. So I'm just going to softly contour my face using powder only. And I'm going to define the bridge of my nose, make myself look real fake. Pop on your falsies. I forgot to do that right after the eyes, but I'm using very, very big lashes because I kind of want to look, you know, cartoony. Now this is a beautiful cheek highlight and this is actually a blush from um, L'Oreal and it was a part of their Project, One, Project Runway collection and I really love to use it as a highlight. Now on to the lips you guys. I'm lining my lips with this magenta lip pencil from NYX. Absolutely love it. I chose uh, this color because it's a little bit richer, a little bit deeper than this 
lip color right here from Line Crime. Again, it's Countessa Fluorescent. It is gorgeous, okay? It's just so yummy. It's more than a bubblegum pink. It's just absolutely amazingly darling. And I thought this would be the perfect lip for such a kind of, I don't know, Bratz doll look. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Eyes, lips, and face have been done. That is strike a pose, smile, <laughs> smile, whatever you want to do. Diamond version hair is on the head. I uh, custom colored it. Like I said before, there is a video out there for you guys, so make sure that you click the link below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, Spur Bears.